first forecast. Yes, we do have a look at the first forecast. It does feel like fall. It's only getting cooler and we were just talking about Rosh Hashanah. Well, we've got your Rosh Hashanah forecast for you coming up in just a little bit, but we're taking you outside this evening. Getting a look at our Sierra Cam, low cloud cover out there, a little bit of clear sky above that and pretty mild temperatures for now, but we're expecting that marine layer to thicken up and for tomorrow for Rosh Hashanah, low clouds and hazy sunshine for you. So we're still keeping conditions pretty nice by the afternoon hours, low to mid 80s in the basin, low 90s for the valleys and finally uh, getting a look at your weekend forecast as we head into your holiday right here. You're going to see cooler for the weekend and a chance of a shower or two, believe it or not. So we're going to have more on that chance coming up in just a little bit. Do want to take you outside and show you what conditions look like you're going to see right here at the broadcast center. We're at 64 degrees. We're looking at a little bit of fog along the coast. It's actually starting to move into the basin. Some of our inland valleys as well waking up to it. And again, we're still expecting somewhat of a warm day. No showers yet, but there is a chance for the weekend. Temperatures this evening in the 60s, 66 in downtown, 65 in Beverly Hills. We'll have the rest of your forecast. And again, lots going on this weekend, so we'll have more on that coming up in just a little bit. Rick and Sharon, back to you. All right, Ed. That's a cool program. Great idea. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It was roasting at my place. You yeah. said you had over, it was overcast? It was overcast Great. this morning. Yeah. I mean, yesterday morning was such a difference because I live in the area here. You live up with all the uh, fancy estates with uh, No, that would be when I win the lottery, which won't happen security anytime soon. <laughs> with all the no, 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 no. well-to-do people. No, no, no. Anyway, it was very foggy where I where I live yeah. when I woke up this morning. Is that because of the moats around the castle? Or <laughs> You're so funny. I'm sorry, okay. But it, so so, and we're not she that, we don't live down. that far apart, and yet the, <laughs> there's some extremes there. Yeah, major extremes. Yeah. Yes. And we would be calling that <laughs> microclimates. Okay. So the microclimates kicked in today. Yeah. So if you're a little mm -hmm. further inland, if you're in the high desert, that's where we saw pretty warm conditions. We were talking mm -hmm. upper 90s. And yeah, once you get some closer, spots. some spots. Once That's you get my closer, spot. Yes. my spot. Where your spot. Is. Yeah. Uh, but you know, for a lot of us, it was foggy at least for the first part of the day along the coast into the basin as well. We're looking at that same forecast patterns happening right now. That fog is starting to push in and starting to make its way into the basin, even into some of our inland valleys. We're already even seeing a little bit of fog right here at our broadcast center in Studio City. Taking you over to Long Beach this evening, we are dealing with foggy conditions at the coast, and we're still expecting foggy conditions first thing tomorrow morning by the afternoon though we're expecting a little more sunshine maybe even a little bit of a warm-up as we head into tomorrow afternoon as well so temperatures staying pretty warm for tomorrow they stayed pretty warm especially inland today but as we head into the weekend completely different weather story for you so we'll have that coming up in just a minute but first we'll take you outside we'll show you current temperatures you'll see right here we're at 66 currently in downtown dealing with a little bit of fog there as we head over to Covina you're at 67 Arcadia at 69 San Gabriel at 68 degrees and heading over to the IE San Bernardino you know, little warmer than everybody else at 70 degrees in parts of Orange County this evening, sitting in the 60s, 64 in the city of Orange. And as we head over to Santa Ana, you're currently at 65 degrees. So earlier today, downtown, you cooled it down. We saw lots of fog. It took a while for it to mix out. 75 was your forecast high. Average temperatures for this time of year, 81 degrees. So you were about six degrees below average for this time of year. By tomorrow, maybe just a degree below average. So actually warming it up just a touch tomorrow. Over the next 24 hours in the basin, we're dipping down to the 60s. Upper 60s by the morning hours and by the afternoon, we're up to 80 degrees. So we're still dealing with coastal clouds and fog. That's in the forecast for tomorrow. That's in the forecast for the weekend as well. A cool down as we head into the weekend. And on top of that, we're expecting a chance of showers and potentially a thunderstorm or two possibly in the mountains, possibly in the deserts as well. Another chance as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday as another cold front makes its way into our forecast. This weekend, it's not a cold front. It's actually remnants of Hurricane Hillary that's just sitting off the coast of Baja right now. And with that, we could see a little more cloud cover. And again, we could see that chance of a shower or two. Widespread chance actually over the weekend, especially by Sunday, we're expecting mostly cloudy conditions, but we are keeping temperatures pretty much into the 80s all week long for the next few days. By Monday, low cloud cover still intact, and we are expecting maybe a little bit of a chance at this point, Tuesday into Wednesday of another shower or two. Rick and Sharon, back to you. All right, thank you. And we are expecting a cool down and a chance of rain. We'll have the details coming up. I get seasick though whenever I go out on really? the boats. Yeah, you just I take a take Dramamine. The, I have to take patch. lots of yeah. Yeah. The, year the patch, yeah. or they have those wristbands with the little balls in them. They do the, the, keep you from yeah, pressure points, and they help. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'll have to try um, it. we'll get you out there. How about that? There you go. Mm. Maybe not. <laughs> no. Skipper. Not anytime soon. Okay. Well, not over the next few days. Maybe no. tomorrow. So it's gonna be nice. Sure. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's tell our bosses we're going whale watching and see how they feel <laughs> about like that. You know, right. I'm, I'm sure they'll be very. I'm feeling supportive. a little under the weather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
But, well, watching yeah. anybody That's not going to work. Thing. Well, you know, if you want to do anything like that, you got to do it tomorrow because there's a chance of rain this weekend, believe it or not. So that's something we haven't said in a while, right? Uh, you'll see earlier today, we kept it pretty cool. 75 degrees. That was a forecast high in downtown. Average is 81 for this time of year. So we were well below average for this time of year. Record temperature is 106. So we didn't get anywhere close to that. Not getting anywhere close to that over the next few days, even though we are inching closer to average over the next 24 hours. We're down to the 60s, upper 60s by the morning hours, and by the afternoon, we're up to about 80 degrees, which is only a degree below average. Not too shabby. So we're still dealing with coastal cloud cover, and that's going to pretty much persist through the weekend. That fog already starting to move in into the basin and even starting to move into some of our inland spots as well. A chance of showers and a chance of thunderstorms in the forecast as we head into the weekend. And then there's another chance. Another chance of rain mainly as a cold front moves through next week, Tuesday into Wednesday. So temperatures tomorrow. We'll get back to the numbers for you and you'll see downtown getting up to 80, Palmdale 94, Woodland Hills 91. So all in all, a pretty warm day for you. But again, we are expecting a cool down as we head into the weekend. Future cast showing you fog in the morning. Looks like it's clearing out pretty quick. By about 11 o'clock, we're already looking at more sunshine and we are looking at a little bit of a warm up tomorrow, but certainly a cool down as we head into the weekend. For the valleys in the Inland Empire, keeping temperatures pretty consistent as we head into tomorrow and Friday, then a cool down to Saturday into Sunday, mostly cloudy with a chance of a shower as we head to we the weekend. And that I know, I hear sure no. And then by Monday, we're a little cooler as well. So I hate to break it to you, but yep, there is a chance and it looks like it's pretty widespread at this point. Rick and Sharon, back to you. Okay.